Alright guys, this is going to be how to get Interstate 76 playing online. Sorry for the camera, but I tried different video capture software and none of them could record my desktop and record Interstate 76, switching between them, launching and closing the program. They would record one and not the other and stuff, so anyway, sorry about the camera, but uh, this is what it's going to take for one continuous cut. So. Playing Interstate 76 online. So first of all, I mean, you have to install the game, and the original works great on all the way up to Windows XP. It takes some patching. If you have newer than XP, I think it's possible to get it running on 7, Windows 7 and newer, but it's kind of difficult. I actually don't know how. I don't remember how. If I've even done that, if I even did that before, because basically now what I do I mean, I've had Windows 7 for so long. Goodoldgames.com, they uh, they released a version that's patched. I'm not sure exactly what they did. But it, um, it makes it so it runs right away on Windows 7, 8, and 10. You know, modern Windows without any having to do anything. You just install it and it works. So that's basically what I do. These days, you know, it's great because they don't have any DRM, so you can buy the game once and have the file and just keep it on a hard drive or thumb drive somewhere, and you never have to worry about registration or at being online or like Steam or anything like that. It just, it's just like it, it, it works. So, six bucks, and it then it runs on Windows 7 and newer. Um, so then, once you get that running. And I think if you give somebody a referral through Good Old Games, you get half price, so you can get it for like three bucks. Anyway, once you get that game running, then to play online, uh, you click Melee, Multi Melee, then you can host or join depending on if a server is up or not. The way to tell if a server is up already without having to run the game is if you go to interstate76.com. Uh, it shows you here. See, it says number of current players, zero. Number of current games, zero. If you go here and just refresh it, and if you see, you know, Tuesday nights, there's games 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when they start every Tuesday. Um, but sometimes there's games on other times, too, so you can just check in your browser. Interstate76.com, see if any games are running. Um, so if a game is running, you're going to click Join. If there's not one running, you're going to want to host one so other people can join. Host, internet... Okay, so these are the three servers that work currently. There's bz... www.bz911.net uh, There's another one, 97.74.125.45 And then the newest one here is what we've been using the most lately. It's the best one, I guess. Play.interstate76.com uh, If you don't have these servers listed, you can just click New and type in the name and IP and click Done. This menu can be a bit annoying sometimes because it takes a bit to respond. You might think your computer's frozen, but it just it lags sometimes, so don't worry about that. So I did host. I'm going to click the third server and click done. Um, see, this is the last name of the server I joined, so that's why it says that. I'm just going to pick a level, broadcast game. Uh, oh, I guess I'm doing capture the flag. Damn, you're online. So all you need to do is go to, uh, you know, ho host or join server, put in uh, the server address, and it'll save it, and then you just pick one of those servers and you can play. That's it. It's pretty simple. All right, one more thing I forgot, guys. Nitro online, open file location. Nitro.exe, right-click, properties, compatibility. I run this, run compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3, and definitely run this program as ad ad administrator. That is really, seems to make a big difference. The way that I did it, I actually have a guide here still. If you go to reddit.com uh, slash r slash interstate76, I'll make a link to this too, how to run interstate76 on Windows 7, how to play. Um, basically, 
you download DG Voodoo. DG Voodoo, it's a glide wrapper. It makes Interstate 76 was created with glide video cards. And this creates a translation from glide language to Direct 3D or OpenGL, whatever you want to use. So you can just search DG Voodoo in Google, or I've got a list one 1.5 beta 2, that's what I have. So you can download DG Voodoo. Once you download that, um, this is to get hardware acceleration, by the way, to get good graphics. So, all right, once that's downloaded, you're basically going to want to extract all these files into your Interstate 76 Nitro directory. Um, you can see I've already got them here in my Interstate 76 directory. Um, you know, you want to put them in Interstate 76 and in the Nitro pack directory, whichever version you're running, or both. Uh, Once that's in there, all you do is you click dgfoodoosetup.exe. Now you're going to have you add your game executable here. This, this thing, this program is actually kind of complicated and it can be a little bit. Uh, it took me a while, you know, I had to try a bunch of different settings before the game run good for me. Um, there are there is another program that I can make, uh, try to find a link to or make another video later to get it hardware acceleration that's a little simpler than this. But if you just mess around here, you add your game directory, platform Windows, language English. I have Direct 3D Direct Draw 7 and Direct 3D 7 selected instead of Direct 3D 9. I think Interstate 76 came out a while before Direct 3D 9, so I don't think that makes much sense. But uh, if you wanted to use a newer one than it was made with. I just have primary display driver, full screen, 32-bit, automatically selected. Now your glide menu is going to be where most of the... gets a little complicated. So you can see the settings I have here. You can see I have 1440 by 1080 resolution. That's not going to be an option for you. I also just changed this to TNT because I know my panel is a TNT. My monitor, if you know yours is or not, you can choose that. It was on automatic before. I'm not sure if it made much difference. I think it looks a little better. If your monitor is more than five years old, it's probably a TNT flat screen. The new ones are IPS. Um, 1440 by 1080. That is, will give you the black bars on the left and right, so the game is the correct proportions and, and it's not stretched. And to get that resolution option there, you have to add it to your game hard. You have to add it to your like video card hardware. So I don't know how to do this for AMD. If you search for Google how to add AMD resolutions for NVIDIA, you go to, let's see, NVIDIA control panel. Oh, change resolution. And then customize right here. So if you put customize, you can say create custom resolution. And now you, you type in 1440. Oh, my, my number lock. 40 by 1080. Uh, I have a 144 refresh rate monitor. That'll probably just be whatever your monitor is, so you don't change it. And you do test and then add it. I already have done that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and then it'll become one of the options in here. 1440 by 1080. I don't know why they don't do that normally, because that's the only way to correctly display things made for older monitors. You'd think they would have that as a as a mode. So yeah, that, you can see I have a custom resolution added there. So once you do that, then you're going to have the option under all your normal resolution things. Like, it'll be an option here, 1440 by 1080. It's an option when I run Counter-Strike 1.6. It completely integrates into all, everything that uses resolutions on your computer. So it becomes an option for everything. So once you add that resolution, then you can choose that in your dgvoodoo setup.exe and get the right resolution for the game to look the best. That's the highest resolution you can run. That's still the correct aspect ratio. That won't stretch it. Anyway, once you install that to actually run it with hardware support through that wrapper, 
you have to create a batch file to launch the game. So here's nitro.exe, here's my nitro.bat file. Now it's extremely simple. Um, I just got a battery not charging message. I hope it's still recording. It's extremely simple. It's just a text file with a couple lines in it. Uh, this is mine. And now it's not focused. Come on. Oh man. So I'll post this. This is on the guide too. So task kill slash f slash I am explorer exe that kills explorer.exe which is these like all your windows that are open will close not your programs but any windows browser windows open like this file browser window any of those will close because those kind of can mess with the game so first it closes all those and then it starts nitro with high priority mode for your cpu and dash glide which puts it into glide mode which is the hardware acceleration and that runs the game then when you quit it does pause and it starts explore exe back up so you can you know browse files again somehow explorer in the background messes up the game it can cause color inversion uh if you've seen that error before just uh you know just right click new text file um you want to put this code in it yeah, save it the name doesn't even matter then you're just going to rename it and zip txt. You're going to put bat. It'll warn you because you're changing it to an executable, but that's what you want. So now that will start the game. Um. Yeah, extremely loudly, like the game always starts. Um, then it presents you with this when you quit. Uh, you press any key to continue. And then your explorer opens back up. It's kind of annoying because then you have to reopen your folders. Um, stupid camera. But uh, that's about it. That'll get you the game running in hardware acceleration. It'll look really good. Um, you can play online. The only problems you might have left at this point is that the sky is going super fast overhead. Uh, the physics won't be right. That means you're running at above 30 frames per second. There's multiple solutions for this. Um, one is to go to interstate76.com, go to downloads, um, Nitro Pack 30 frames per second update. That'll fix the physics and the and the fast sky. I can show you what I mean too. There's also Nitro Pack, Pack Patch 3. I forget exactly what this does, but it's more compatibility stuff for modern systems. And I installed that, and I, for, I don't think I noticed much difference, but you definitely just want to install that anyway. Um, if you have Windows 7 or newer, definitely you want that. Okay, so I'll show you what the game looks like in software with the wrong frames per second, like it will be without changing anything normally, if you just install it. See how the... See how it's so fast? You see how the sky is going super fast overhead? <laughs> that was ridiculous, but okay. See how the sky overhead is going really fast? Hold on. There. Now you can see it. The sky is flying overhead. Software mode, like, it's weird. It doesn't control right. I'll show you what happens when you hit a jump. See, I'm just tapping the arrows to change the camera view. And it's going way too much. See that skidded right there? Because it's got, like, weird physics. It normally wouldn't do that. So I'm flooring it. I should be going faster by now. It'll make you slower. Having a bad frame, having high frame rate. See, look at that. <laughs> I was full speed. I was flooring it the whole time. So, yeah, physics are messed up. Um, that's how it'll be with 60 frames per second on a modern system if you don't limit it to 30. So you can either install that 30 frames per second limiting patch, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, hardware accelerated and frame limited. There, you can see the skies, you see how much better it looks, like high resolution. And you can see the sky is going much slower overhead. That's that's one way to tell that your frame rate is correct. I guess the actual correct, most correct frame rate is 25, but that's not an option that I've found yet. Uh, flamethrower weapons, all the flame weapons won't work really online. 
um, unless you get 25 frames per second going. And I've got 30, so um, you can see in the top, let's see if I can change the camera here, see in the top left, um, that's my DX Tori is telling me I'm getting 30 frames per second. And everything will work great like this, except for flame weapons. So, uh, my controller's unplugged, so I can't drive around, but uh, it's nice. Hardware acceleration, high resolution, correct physics, correct frame rate. It can take a little bit of work to get this game going good, but, um, you know, it's one of the best games ever made, so totally worth it. And once you get it set up, you know, you don't have to do anything else. You can just run it, and it just works. Oh, yeah, there's also the uh, all nitro maps.zip and driver map pack. You're going to want to download those map packs if you want to play the Tuesday night because we're always playing custom maps. And you're going to need those. Uh, there's lots of useful stuff here that Lightfoot has assembled over the years, keeping this game alive. Props to Lightfoot. So here's the forums. Um, tech support. There's a sub forum here. So if you have any trouble getting the game running, we can definitely help you. Come here and ask. Uh, the game's getting pretty popular, actually. We've had the max server size is eight people in the server, and we've had that a few times over the last couple months. So, oh yeah, Nvidia Inspector. Besides downloading that 30 frames per second patch. Um, alternatively, you can just search for NVIDIA Inspector and download it. Uh, if you search for it, um, first thing that comes up is Guru 3D, and I've never had a problem with them. They've always been a good site for me, so sorry about this camera. You can download NVIDIA Inspector from them. I have an older version, but it should be the same. And when you run that, there is a little wrench right here. You click that. This is like if the 30 frames per second patch doesn't work for you for some reason, you can do this. And now up here, um, I've already added the game. Nitro Online. If it's not there, you might have to show it where the EXE is. Now right here, you have a preferred refresh rate. I changed mine to use the 3D application setting and that gave me, and then apply settings, that gave me 30 frames per second. So I, that's how I fixed it before I, before I knew about that 30 frames per second patch. Um, there's also a frame rate limiting option here. And unfortunately it only goes down to 29 frames per second. So if you could choose 25 frames per second, that would be awesome. But you can't for the flame weapons. I wonder if you could add it to this NVIDIA Inspector code somehow. Anyway, I think Lightfoot might be working on getting 25 frames per second. I know he was messing around with that. Anyway, so you can get, you just go to preferred refresh rate, use 3D application setting, that should get, might get you 30 frames per second if the patch doesn't. Uh, so there you go. That's about it.